Um, how are we? Happy Ruby Tuesday. A, it's actually Tuesday, and B, do you know what I have been wishing for during all 116 episodes is that I would finally have a legitimate piece of equipment to do this here. And guess what I have? A legitimate piece of equipment. Thank you, Apple. I have the iPad too. How's it going? Me? Hmm? I'm back on the map. Mm -hmm. I certainly am. Do you guys want to see something fun? Mm -hmm. If you were a orange clipboard, would you want exciting things like this on it? Hmm? These are episodes. Um, you're looking at what is the future of a, a multinational entertainment conglomerate. Mm -hmm. I, don't know, I feel like people might want to chime in and hear what I have to say about fashion, art, music, etc. From here, that Los Angeles HQ of um, the current um, whirlwind of fun that is, is also known as my life. Speaking of performing, um, swimming, it, it, um, it does not pay well. No, it does not. So what I did is I did take another job, and guess what I'm doing? I'm apprenticing as an electrician. Isn't that exciting? I get to wear tuba and everything. But I think it's really going to help me. His name is, um, is Mass. He's Danish, and it's spelled M-A-D-S. And instead of telling everybody how to spell it or how to pronounce it, he just lets everybody call him Mads, even though it's, it's pronounced Mass. So I gave him his playa name, which is Critical Mass. But he is a very, very talented artist, and he did these. They are LED um, social umbrellas, and they talk to each other. It's very exciting. Would you like to see one of them? So I really think that becoming an electrician will really help my... Um... Can you see that? It's turning on and off. It's more exciting in the, in, in, when it's darker and, and not with this lighting. I don't know. Kind of fun, though. But math, and I got to spend some time talking about um, technology like this, and I really think that it will uh, make me more of an asset if I know how things are wired. And I also know how to not electrocute people. That might not be on the top of your list, but if, if you're working in a team scenario, somebody that's not posing a risk to your life is, 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 is an asset, is, is what it's called in some circles. I don't know. I'm not gainfully um, full-time employed, so it's hard to say. Well, other exciting things that you need to know is that um, I attended the Gay Pride Parade on Saturday. Yes, I did. And right after swim class, I had on my navy blue um, competitive swimsuit, and I had my rash guard over it, and a pair of rain boots that I don't wear very often. I didn't have to walk very far from the pool to my, to my car. But what happened at the, at the Gay Pride Parade on Saturday is that I had to walk a really far in one direction and by that I mean I walked too far to be able to comfortably walk in my boots so I had to I had to commandeer a vehicle to get to get back back to my car and by commandeer I did not flag a taxi what I did was notice that that my feet were hurting really bad and I was planning my exit strategy but all of Santa Monica Boulevard had been roped off and barricaded there were cops enforcing this and when we saw one big douchebag driving a Saturn right down the center of it uh, cops on foot pursued her um, in a pretty big effort to get her from from injuring anyone. And I stepped in to help by by moving the barricade so that the car, which was not supposed to be there, could, could move to safety. And as I moved the barricade um, to help the cops, you know, I carry a, a hot pink gun. I, I know how to handle a weapon. I'm here to help. I come in peace multiple times. But... I helped this woman um, through the barricade and, you know, the cops are yelling at her and she's flustered. And I said, um, I need you to take me five blocks east. And she said, I can't, I'm lost. And I was like, oh, yes, you are. And I opened the, um, I opened the passenger side, the door in the back seat and hopped in. I'm glad I actually did not have my, my plastic gun on me because even though it's pretend, I think that in those circumstances that it could have been perceived as grand theft larceny, kidnapping or carjacking, I'm not sure. But she did get me to my she did get me to my car and, and thankfully and, and I and I helped reorient her with where, where she was in Los Angeles and in a safer way to get to her destination and, and everybody won. And I got to um, hang out with my friends and um, and nothing but a swimsuit. I, I was texting my friends, I said, Do I need pants for this event? And they said, Absolutely not. 
So I made my way there. High five. Yes. Um, other projects that have been actually um, keeping me busy, and they involve both lighting, Burning Man, my love of orange, um, and that is the Indiegogo campaign for the temple, the geodesic temple um, at Jusoria this year. I populated the um, the campaign there and am in charge of getting people to do so. And I've kind of been slacking, so now I have to come over to you very aggressively. You'll see if, if you find it's charming. I don't, I don't know. I know you're not an employer. We're friends. We'll see how it works out. But now, thankfully, all of my equipment problems are over, and you and I, we can get to know each other again and maybe more frequently. How does that sound? Hmm? That's it for me. Happy Ruby Tuesday.